in one of the courses i was just introduced that how our human body could be seen as an electrical source i think that triggered my interest in the area of biomedical engineering and so i went on to select a project in my fourth year uh, for my thesis in the area of uh, biomedical engineering and uh, that gave me a lot of uh, motivation that uh, what an electrical engineer can do in the area of life sciences in improving the quality of life and improving the quality of living and uh, since then uh, i've been totally dedicated to this area i'm involved in in, in doing uh, signal processing of biomedical signals one of the things he uh, developed was um, an early diagnosis system for arthritis monitoring hypertension and stress that's a very big problem in, in north america and elsewhere the other project i'm involved is uh, is, is to do with the uh, breast cancer diagnosis dr shridhar krishnan is a brilliant scientist who's made significant contributions to his field of signal analysis where he deals with potentially life-saving medical applications Shri received his bachelor's degree in electronics and communication engineering in Madras, India in 1993. The following year, he came to Canada to pursue graduate studies in electrical and computer engineering at the University of Calgary. Today, he's the chair of the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at Ryerson University and an associate professor. He's the youngest chair for an ECE department in Canada. and a major player in transforming Ryerson University from a primarily undergraduate institution to a full-fledged research university. He's built a strong research group that focuses on the two areas of medical image and multimedia information. One of his early successes were um, a proposal he put together to establish um, a specialized lab in signal processing for himself, his group of researchers and uh, graduate students. Uh, that one a CFI proposed uh, sorry CFI uh, grant um and i think that was the beginning of good things that he did in uh, at Ryerson Shri plays a lead role in transferring biomedical and multimedia technologies to industries and national research laboratories his projects include breast cancer diagnostics and monitoring hypertension and stress our idea in the project is to is to detect uh, hypertensive and stressed subjects uh, non invasively uh, totally non invasively for example if somebody is putting their finger on the mouse computer mouse the system would do a background processing and through the computer will let the user know that it's time for you to take a break and if we are successful with, with mouse we could move on the sensor to other parts of the body we could probably implant the sensor on a wrist watch so that there is a continuous monitoring uh, this way uh, individuals can take care of their own health um, uh, so that would lessen the burden on the healthcare arthritis is, is is also a serious problem so this project involved people from sports medicine from surgery department and uh, we had some success and probably we are one of the very few groups in the world uh, which is focusing on analyzing uh, vibration signals from knee for arthritis Dr. Krishnan has had 80 research papers published in leading international biomedical engineering conferences and journals. He's an outstanding role model and mentor to his students and is generous with his time, advice, and enthusiasm. Dr. Krishnan always goes the extra mile to kind of make learning for us um an enthusiastic, very vibrant experience for us. We're always very excited about our field. You can send Dr. Krishnan Krishnan an email a uh, Sunday night at 1:00 in the morning and you're still going to get a response before you are you're in on Monday. Outside of his job, Shri volunteers his time as chair of the Signal Processing Toronto chapter of the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. He founded and organized the International Conference for Upcoming Engineers, a forum that exposes undergraduate students to the research community. and he actively volunteers for organizations that work to empower Tamil youth goals for the future is uh, it's definitely to see a world where um, medical devices are as common as a cell phone cell phone is basically you is used at this point to, to communicate with people but if somebody is carrying a medical device that could do probably everything like alert them when they're under stress or alert them when they're going through some kind of a trauma and send it to an expert doctor remotely and if this is carried by at least half of the world's population i think uh, that would be a, a great achievement and 
In 2005, Ryerson University awarded him the Faculty Research Excellence Award. His contribution to the education, to uh, development of uh, new research ideas in the field, uh, speaks volume for his uh, contribution to university, to this university, and to the society in Canada. I don't see anybody more deserving than this award in recognition of what she have contributed to us and to Canada in general.